D in Bright Minds is for diabetes, a double-barreled threat to your memory. It involves being diabetic, overweight, or both. I've published two studies that show as your weight goes up, the physical size and function of your brain goes down. With two-thirds of American overweight and nearly 40% obese, it is the biggest brain drain in the history of the United States. The excessive fat on your body is not innocuous. It disrupts your hormones, stores toxins, and produces chemicals that increase inflammation. When obesity is combined with diabetes, the risk is worse. High blood sugar levels damage your blood vessels, which is why I can be a bummer if you go out to dinner with me. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I was speaking at a conference in Nashville. That evening, I had dinner with one of my best friends. Mark was overweight and diabetic. But when I saw him inject himself with insulin at the table and then order cornbread, chicken fried steak, and mashed potatoes and gravy, I was horrified. Without making a fuss, I asked Mark how tall he was, six feet. Then I asked him how much he weighed. He said 244 pounds. On my phone, I calculated his BMI, or body mass index, and then looked at him and said, Mark, you're obese. <laughs> Astounded, Mark said, Daniel, you're so cold. <laughs> I replied, not nearly as cold as you're going to be when you're six feet under. <laughs> the words obese and six feet under really got Mark's attention. The next month, he lost 10 pounds. Two years later, when we met at the same conference, he was down 53 pounds and had increased energy, focus, and memory. And he embarrassed me when he told me how good his sex life was. <laughs> What's more, he cut his insulin dose in half. And when I asked Mark if getting healthy was hard, he laughed and said, being sick was hard. This is easy. I'll never go back. Thank you for caring enough about me to have that hard conversation. <laughs> to get diabetes under control, you have to get your food right. Here are five simple brain-healthy rules. One, eat high-quality calories and not too many of them. I think of calories like money. Overspend and your health will become bankrupt. Two, eat clean protein at every meal to balance your blood sugar and decrease cravings. Three, focus your diet on healthy fats from fish, nuts, seeds, and avocados. Fat is essential for brain health. Four, Eat smart carbohydrates that do not raise your blood sugar, such as those found in colorful fruits and vegetables, and limit sugar and carbs that quickly turn to sugar, such as bread, pasta, potatoes, and rice. I call these dumb carbs because they're pro-inflammatory, and studies show they can decrease IQ. Five, liberally use brain-healthy spices, especially pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, garlic, cloves, and turmeric. They attack virtually all of the Bright Mind's risk factors. If you follow these simple food rules, you can eat incredibly healthy food that tastes amazing. In the program materials, Tana and Chef Honor provide more than 200 delicious brain-healthy recipes that support all of the Bright Mind strategies. Here are just a few of my favorites. Pumpkin spice, wake up cappuccino. I make my wife one every morning. Unforgettable lamb butternut squash stew. It's so good. Sweet potato nacho chips. Asian chicken salad filled with fiber and taste. And low carb chocolate chip waffles. <laughs> Unbelievable. And crunchy chocolate minthins. There shouldn't be any suffering in getting and keeping a healthy brain. 